Hey, it's Nathan with CrazyEyeMarketing.com. In this video, we're gonna check out the URL redirect function within ClickFunnels 2.0. So what a URL redirect does is somebody goes to the URL and it redirects them to another page. So you can redirect them to any page you want, like you can send them to Google or some other website if you wanna do that. So let's go ahead and get into it. So to get to the URL redirects area, we'll go to Sites and URL redirects right here. And then we need to go ahead and create a new URL redirect. And we can go ahead and come up with a name for it. So let's say that I wanna create a URL redirect that's an affiliate link for my ClickFunnels affiliate. So I'll do ClickFunnels, and then I need to select my URL domain. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my Crazy Eye Media domain that I've set up. And then I need to go ahead and set up my path. So this would be the, the URL redirect path. So typically what I'll do is for like sites that are outside of my business, I'll do like an out right here and then click funnels, but you could do whatever you want. You could, you know, you could add extra words and things. All you gotta do is put that forward slash in there and you can, you know, sky's the limit on what you can create. So I'm gonna go with out slash click funnels. And then this would be my target URL. So I'll throw my affiliate link in here. Now I don't have it handy, so I'm just gonna go ahead and redirect to the main ClickFunnels website, so clickfunnels.com. And then over here, we have UTM tracking. And this typically works with like Google Analytics, but there's other tracking tools also that use the UTM tracking. So if you wanna go ahead and throw in additional variables because you have UTM tracking installed, you could go ahead and add those variables right here, but that's a little bit beyond the scope of this video. Coming on down, we have split testing. So if you wanted to send people to do two different pages, for example, maybe I wanna send some of my traffic to the main ClickFunnels landing page and then another person of my traffic I want to send to another ClickFunnels page and see which one may convert better or something like that. So I could go ahead and plug in a second URL right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and plug in ClickFunnels and we'll pretend like number two is my second URL. Then we have our split percentage. So percent of traffic to send to the second URL. And typically with a split test, you do 50% of your traffic from to one URL and 50% to the other, but maybe you only want to send 20% to this other URL and you're just testing things out. You could go ahead and set your split percentage to 20. And then there's also the option here to add pixel code. So how this URL redirect basically works is somebody goes to this page right here, it loads for like a split second and during that time, you could go ahead and pixel people with a retargeting pixel. So that way you could add them to your audiences like on Facebook or through Google ads. And even though they're not landing on your website because they're actually gonna be going to clickfunnels.com or clickfunnels.com slash two, you still have a chance to pixel them and add them to your audience. So that way you can show them ads later on for things that they might want. So if you have a retargeting pixel code, you can go ahead and plug it in right here. And once you're all satisfied and everything, you can go ahead and click on create URL redirect and we can see it right here. Now, of course, if we wanted to go ahead and change things, we could come back in and edit it. And you're like, oh, well, I don't wanna do this anymore. We could get rid of the second URL and everybody will just go to clickfunnels.com. Or if you wanted to adjust your pixel code or anything else, you could go ahead and change it right in this area. But let's go ahead and check it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy it. And then I'm going to actually open up a new incognito window without cookies or anything. And I'm gonna to go to that link and we'll see where it brings us to. So it brought us to clickfunnels.com. So you see how it redirected automatically to clickfunnels.com even though this is not like my website. So that's how that works. I'm gonna go ahead and clear browsing data and close windows. And we'll go ahead and try it one more time. See if it brings us to the other uh, second page that we have. Let's see, clickfunnels.com slash two. So you see that it split my traffic. And of course, ClickFunnels slash two is not a, a valid page. So I received a page not found message. So you of course wanna make sure that you're linking to a valid page. Now, one last thing, if your URL re redirects aren't working, it could be because your site is not active. So come over to your site here and you can click on this gear icon in the top right hand corner and you can see site availability right here. So if you have it set on coming soon, then your link redirects won't work. You do need a public site in order for your URL redirects to work. And that's really it for this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, I appreciate any sorts of likes, comments, subscribes, and or head over to crazyeyemarketing.com for more marketing information. And I hope you have a great rest of the day.